Hello everyone, welcome to video number 4 in the series of MUN IO text training videos. In this video, I will show how to create an account on UFile. Now, UFile is a text filing software which is used by Internationalization Office, Memorial University from past few years and it is also one of the software which has been used comprehensively throughout Canada. Now text filing software. So basically what we'll do is we'll go to ufile.ca. Now why it's useful because once you make your profile you can use it to file income tax returns for multiple years. Meaning that you you can use the same account for filing any previous year returns as well as for the next coming years when required. Your account can be used to file tax return for your spouse, partner or dependent provided if you have their permission and relevant documents. You cannot file income taxes for your friends or colleagues through your UFile account. They will meet, need to make their own UFile account and then you can guide them. But remember this that your UFile account is yours. So you cannot use your UFile account in order to file taxes for your friends or colleagues or someone else. Why UFile? UFile is the software which CVITP volunteers associated with Canada Revenue Agency U. So CVITP is Community Volunteer Income Tax Program and it is a program to help you know low income people, senior citizens who need income tax filing done and their situations are much simpler and CRA has a branch which has volunteers and they use UFile in order to help those people. So it's one of the trusted software which gets taxes done in proper manner with minimal errors. So it is a good software to be used and it has been used from past many years. Students file taxes for free at UFile and in case if you are asked for a code you can use CFS 1981 which will help you get the taxes done for free. But in general terms most students can file the taxes free because the software will see that your income as well as you are a student so most probably it won't ask you for a code. Now we'll go to ufile. Now this is ufile.ca. I already have it open and now you can sign in or you need to register now since you are first time user. Uh, I'll just skip sign in and then I'll say create new account. Now you need to create a new account. So I'll write down Kilol, which is my name and password whichever you feel comfortable with. Now you re-enter the password and now you add the email address which you will remember I'll write my money email address I'll say yes I'm okay with receiving you file and I need to agree with the conditions yes again you need to show you're not a robot and then you apply okay it says the username is not available so this may happen sometimes remember that so if this happens you can write down your name and that will work now you apply you don't need to save it here now it will also ask you for your secondary email address just to make sure that you know you remember so I will write down my secondary email address you can select whichever things you want and I'll select this option but again it depends on your choice you can select either of this or you can enter a phrase unique word which can be used to reset your password so this is very important because what happens is most students will make an account and they will never use ufile for the entire year now when comes the next tax season they will look for the password for ufile and they won't have it or they won't recollect it so it's better to store password somewhere written down and if in case if you cannot store it it's best to have a question which you can answer easily 
so maybe it's your best friend or your first pet or favorite teacher or manager or someone you you know your favorite historical person grandfather's occupation mother's birthplace or any unique word now i can answer any unique word so i'll say mm, i'll answer something and i'll go forward i'll so our security question is what was the first name of my pet and that's what i'm going forward with now my account is set up and i can start with you file now so we'll go and we'll click on start and then it should show me the main profile now if you see here you file as i said in my previous slide you can file for previous year returns so if you see there are all years which you can file now remember you file for those years in which you were in canada so if you arrived in 2016 you start with 2016 first then go to 2017 2018 and 2019 but you were you just arrived in 2019 then you start with 2019 and you say go so you have registered for you file and there will be an email sent out to your email address you need to confirm that but now you are ready once you say launch you're on your way and you will see the main profile so this is how the u file main page will look like it's still loading so we'll give it some time but this is generally how your u file will look like and then you will start filling up the boxes so this is how you register for your u file and this is how you proceed further now again this information is current up to march 2020 if you have any queries or if you need any support regarding registering for U file, please contact their online support. In case if you're trying to reuse U file, meaning that you used it previous year and you forgot your password, you can again, there's an option to, you know, forgot your password and then they'll send you a link and then you can reactivate your account. Again, remember to store all your text slips for at least seven years as CRMA asks for proof in future if they want okay thank you very much again this was the video for how to register for you file the next video will show you how to use you file for getting your taxes done thank you very much and have a great day bye bye